I think that our organization's involvement with queer youth programs um, affects our institution's relationship with other community partners um, by I th just that we can get, um, we can address the whole kid by connecting with, with their school, um, with their primary care providers. We're trying to be on site now. Um, networking with Encompass and Diversity Center and their Strange program. Um, been referring kids to them a lot. So, yeah, I think it's been positive. It affects us positively. <laughs> well, our organization has been having, Children's Mental Health in particular, has been having trainings, cultural competence trainings, specifically ones for LGBTQ youth for over 20 years, even before it became an institutional um, component of mental health substance abuse and there was no question that um, it, it was needed and it was important and it was the only way that we could um, provide the level of services that we needed to and quality of services for the kids we were seeing. So additional work that our um, agency can do to create a safer atmosphere for LGBTQ IA youth in the Santa Cruz County, um, some of it's already going on. It's you know, a signage that's welcoming. It is making sure, which might sound a small thing, but that all the charts and medical records and paperwork are done in um, a use preferred gender um, name, and that phone calls are made, appointment reminders are made, again, in that same preferred um, gender and name. We also have um, staff like Kristen who have had extensive training, um, and we've participated in an ongoing basis, you know, monthly meeting to share resources and ideas and um, up our game in terms of working with transgender youth, which is, you know, kids from 2 to 18. So that's just some of the ways, and there's always room for more, so offering more trainings. Um, and Kristen and I are really resources, so we've made ourselves available, and that helps increase um, staff's capacity no matter what team they're on or what age youth they're working with. I think I'm going to stick with that eternal sunshine of the spotless mind and I'm not exactly sure why but um, I just like the idea of um, playing with how important our memories are to us and the idea of sometimes wanting to get rid of them but realizing that that's not going to fix it. But, yeah, they're part of us. And my favorite movie is The Untouchables because it is touching, it's funny, it is about the relationship between two very diverse, different people, um, physically, economically, um, and how they both have so much to learn in their interrelationship and dependence on each other and um, the light they bring into each other's lives. Or I've had lots of favorite colors, I should say, and maybe the current is yellow. And I don't know why, but uh, I like bright colors and I think it's just because they affect my mood. And also, I love so many colors and combinations. It's hard to choose just one. I also really like yellow because I like bright and light. And I love the spring color, spring colors of flowers. And mm -hmm. so, I don't know, anything that occurs in nature, especially around flowers and greens and pinks and everything. So those are not one color, but it's many. <laughs>